Hello, everyone. I'm back. I think. I think I'm back here at the easel. I'll sit down on a squeaky chair and get ready to paint. Check everything out here. Make sure we're recording. Good. All right. So I was kind of doing a uh, requested one here. And I've been wanting to repaint this. There's a painting I've done a while ago. Uses very little colors and it uses kind of a 70s color palette, I guess. So let's see what we can do with it. I am going to find. I'll just use the brush that I put my liquid white on with. Grab me a little yellow. You can use any yellow you want here. It doesn't really matter. I, I, well, pretty much it doesn't matter. I may not like this. I'm just, I think it's cad yellow. Oh. Oh yeah, we'll go bright. Make sure it's pretty on the camera. We're gonna go bright. We could use an in yellow probably would look good too. Just kind of come through here a little bit. There we go. That's showing up okay. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get this out a little bit. Trying to get the lamp where I can see it, see the painting well. And it doesn't impact the the video with a big glare. I think that's okay. You guys can Tell me after you see this. All right, I got some new lighting coming, by the way. Not that the light in here is horrible, but it could be better. So we'll play around with it a little bit. We'll put a good coat of yellow all over. A lot of this, I spend so much time on this yellow, but a lot of it gets lost here in a little bit. So you can imagine, we're gonna probably put a big old mountain in here somewhere. I bet you. I almost bet money on it. Almost bet money on it. We could throw a little bit of that. Well, we'll, we'll do that later. We'll, you know, we'll probably have some yellow here in the water that we have and all that good stuff. We could throw some in there, I guess. Bring it on down. So this is yellow and brown for the most part, and of course white. That's all I'm using. Indian yellow is probably what I used on the other one. And probably would not look as bright. But, I kind of wanted to use the cad here. I've also got a tube of... What is this? It's a very unique yellow. It's actually cad yellow hue. That's cad pale hue. Let's see what this looks like. This is... Uh, can't describe it. It's an orange or yellow, maybe. Put a little bit up here because it won't hurt anything. A little bit up here. Just so you can see it. See that? A little bit more orange. Let's throw a little bit up in the sky anyway. That would look nice not to just have one color. You see the difference between the two? I don't know if it'll show up on camera as well. I like that. I hadn't been using it because I bought it for my paintings and I just never had been using it. But, yeah, that's plenty. Throw a little bit down here if we see it. It's good. Okay. Plenty of yellow there. Now we are going to take a, I'll just use a smaller brush for this step. I'm going to take a little bit of burnt umber is what I have out. A little bit of burnt umber. Tap, tap, tap. Not really doing anything magic on the palette there that anybody needs to see besides tapping paint into my brush. And we're going to put some brown in here. Oh, what are you doing? A brown cloud? Eh, not really a cloud yet. Just some color up here. Let it kind of creep into that yellow a little bit. The painting I did a long, well, like probably 2020 when I did this painting. And, so, and I posted it somewhere and people were like, oh, I wish you'd done a video and I wish I had a tent. Um, so I figured why not just do a video. Now that's going to look awful until we actually get a lot in here. And that's going to look really light, but it, it's kind of dark and I don't know why it looks like that on the camera. The brown. Brown kind of looks almost got a lot of white in it. I'm going to go darker to make it show up a little bit here. Probably lose what I like about the painting just by doing that. All right, here we go. 
and we're just kind of putting that up against the yellow maybe just blend it a little bit swirl it in little egg strokes whatever something like that for now we could throw a little bit down here in the water a little bit in the water here I don't know that we'll see much of this because we have a land that lives down in here but see a little bit that's fine always nice and it'll look a little more done down here until we get to it nobody's worried about me leaving white edges so we hit thank you guys we hit 5,000 subscribers we're, we're approaching 5,100 now I'm still in shock that that many people would hit the subscribe button but thank you for doing that but I really appreciate it guys I really appreciate everybody's uh, support and and uh just can't thank you enough we'll probably do some things here a little bit down the road give away a few uh, items that I have I'm actually gonna throw a little bit more of that CAD um, this CAD yellow hue I don't like the CAD I want um, the CAD pale hue I'm gonna throw a little bit more of that up there but we'll do some little giveaways and things to thank you guys and um, see what we can do just give me a little bit. It's kind of hectic here right now. I'm thinking about doing monthly um, kind of free Zoom or free lives probably on here for folks uh, to answer any questions or maybe paint along with folks. I'm going to go right up into that brown a little bit. Be careful, a little bit comes down here. There, I like that much better. Make sure we hit record. Yep. All right. So uh, look out for that. I don't know. People keep asking. There are a few people. Not a lot. But a few people keep asking me about doing like, you know, once you get so many subscribers, you can do memberships and all that. I just don't know that I want to do that. I get, get a little bit of money each month from these videos that you guys watch. It's not a lot. It's not worth doing for... If we were actually having to work really hard, it's not worth doing. But I enjoy it, so it's just a little bit extra money, and I can save that money and put it up, you know, for a new camera and whatever I might want. Same thing with the memberships. I don't know that I want to be a just, um, I mean, heck, I see people posting all the time about online classes, and, and, and they're wanting to sign up, and... I understand the need to talk to somebody directly, maybe, and that, that, that's that's probably some of it. But there's so many good artists on YouTube just giving away stuff. Even, you know, even if the video is not completely there, it's there enough for you to complete the painting just by looking at it. Your colors may be a little different, um, but that's okay. You're, you're, that's fine. So there's plenty of free stuff out there. If you just watch a few ads, you know, and, and you'll, uh, you don't have to spend all that money on going to virtual classes and things. It just, it makes no sense to me. Now, if it's in-person classes, like for an in-person class for me, I'm going to, I'm going to walk around all the time. I'm going to sit down and show you right at your easel. Uh, if you're struggling with a mountain or you're struggling with a tree, that makes complete sense. It really does. I'm just darkening up things right now. But, again, just the need for virtual learning, I, I know has grown with COVID. But shoot, just turn on any YouTube channel. You know, you don't have to have a professional artist uh, to show you how to paint. You want somebody that knows enough and can show you what you need. There, there's someone out there right now. It may be me. It may be someone else that will show you what you're struggling with and do it for free. Again, you watch a little bit of an ad or something, and we're all happy. Everybody, everybody wins, right? Nobody can win unless everybody wins. That's the way I look at it. All right. I think that's what I'm wanting to go with. Again, that's pretty much, I would just, if you have Indian yellow, use Indian yellow. And this is not really showing up as brown on my screen, so but it's, it's quite dark. Probably more representative in the water. 
All right. I've ranted and raved and I haven't yelled or screamed yet though, so we're, we're still in good shape there. Enough that it's time to paint some clouds. And we're gonna paint those clouds starting out with some brown. We're just gonna use the brown that I put on there with a little more brown on my brush now. And I'm just gonna bring out some cloud shapes. All I'm gonna do. And we'll, we'll blend these in a little bit. Don't worry if you get a little bit of the, the yellow kind of coming back out, it's fine. See, that's already looking a little better to me. Reload is necessary. This is not going to be the exact same painting. Uh, I did the other one, Portrait. And it, the portraits just don't show up as, when I've got the canvas long ways, just doesn't show up as good on the camera. So I decided to kind of do it in landscape orientation. Let me back up a little bit. Don't think that I'm getting down on people for having virtual classes. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying there's there's plenty of stuff out there. I still am apprehensive about charging people for painting with me. So in person even. And I still, again, trying to figure out why you guys watch, but. When I say those things, I don't mean like you need to turn the channel or run another video. I'm just saying it to kind of tell you what I'm thinking. Um, and really, in, in my own way, I'm kind of saying, hey, thank you. So, kind of a weird way of saying it, but that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> so, I've got a little, one of the best little things you can buy, and you could probably just buy cheap makeup brushes that will work the same. Oh, I didn't clean this one great last time. That's that's not good. Keep these things clean. Don't dip these in thinner. Just take some thinner and wipe it on a paper towel. I think I've told you that before. I'm going to blend out the bottoms of these a little bit and just kind of mess them up a little bit. Muff them up. There we go. I don't want them to be like definite shapes or anything. There we go. Let it mix with that yellow. Don't kill the yellow though. Keep a lot of that yellow showing so that we can see it when we put our mountains and stuff in. but you can see it's kind of misty and much more diffused down there down there on the bottom than would be otherwise and you can just a little bit and it gets into your yellow that's fine but try to save some of that because we need a we're going to need that glow behind these little mountain peaks all right yeah now a little dirty up another brush of course we can always use them I'll just clean it a little bit, right? I want a little bit of white on some of these. Not much. Just to work that brush, work that white into the brown a little bit. Something like that. Um, trying to see. On the other one, I, I was trying to make light rays. I'm trying to see if I can still do that here. Probably right here. I'm going to have to darken this up a little bit. Blend it out a little bit and just make a, make a little cloud shape of some sorts up in here. Uh, just kind of whatever we see, what we do. Sometimes we see things and we're like, I wish I hadn't saw that. Right? I do. I am painting early tonight. It is only 7 o'clock here. I am a nighttime painter. This doesn't feel like nighttime to me. I want to lose this glow right there. More snows are coming, they're telling me. I don't believe them, do you? See that? Try not to pull too much of that brown out. Just kind of, however thick you want these. Right in there. A little bit too much brown. If you do that, just take a brush and just kind of put it into the yellow. Pull that out. Again, this might not be perfect. 
representation of the other painting, but I'm showing you the steps more than anything. Folks that wanted to see it, there we go. Now what we do is we make a little white and we just kind of put a little bit of white around that little light area. Some white and some dark. We'll put some dark back in here too. It's crazy. Just throw some stuff up there. Once we put all this in, it'll make a little more sense. I hope. Hope I'm not lying to you. If I am, it's not intentional. Get rid of that one. Swirl this stuff up a little bit. Swirl this side up a little bit. There we go. All right. A lot rays are better on the other one, but have you found that you sit down and you try to repaint a painting and it doesn't look as good as the other one. You guys do that sometimes? I do it all the time. Like, why am I trying with this really dark? Right in here. There we go, that's looking better. Dominant on the paint here. Because if that's the light, this cloud would be really dark back in here. There we go, there we go. Yeah, and just kind of take this brush. Don't dip this thing in thinner. These these things shed like crazy. This is soft brushes, but I have actually known people, and I've actually used one. Just a soft makeup brush will do the same thing. Leave that kind of. Let's don't really stretch this out too much in there. Just watch this. Oh no, mountain lives there, so it doesn't matter. All right. So I have dirtied up. We're at four or five brushes now. That's a pretty good ratio for the number I have laying here. And I could tinker with that sky later if I want to. Make sure we're still recording. Yep. Good. Okay. Let's see. We're going to make a little mountain over here. And then we're going to have a big old kind of right in through here. Big mountain there. And what we're going to use, as you can imagine, brown. If you want to on that first one you could throw a little bit of white into your brown to make it a little lighter because this one's probably further away maybe and sorry for the glare on the knife it's kind of high in the sky too oh this is a small mountain though you're only seeing a tiny bit of it like literally just right there's all I want. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Okay. Let's take our little brush here. I'm gonna smooth this one up, but I'm not gonna smooth it very far. Look at that. I'm just barely pulling that down just a little bit tonight. Stretch it out that way a little bit. And then even in here, just kind of stop. I don't want to do that. I want some yellow glow back in there. Shoot. Nothing saying I can't put a little bit back in there if I have to. Be better to clean your brush if you do that. A little bitty mountain. A little bit back in the background. Get the angle a little bit better. Growing right into that cloud. <laughs> Our big peak's going to be right there. You won't see that here in a minute. Now, the key here when you're painting this is to put a little bit of yellow into your white. I know we're always warned, uh, warned about, uh, you know, people would warn us about don't use yellow snow and things. Don't eat it, but you can use it for your paintings. Actually looks really nice. White is nice. And sometimes I, I painted this and had to go back over it because I wanted a little bit more. We don't want this to be super detailed back here. No. 
need for lots of details way far in the background. That happens once we get to the foreground. You guys know that. Get all this snow right in there. And that's pretty much it. Now, again, I spent a little bit more time on these mountains when I did the original. So you could do that too. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm trying to talk to you and paint. I'm going to make a light brown now with a little bit of yellow in it even. As a shadow color. See if this will show up. No, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, that's not going to show up. Just got to play with these colors. Never get discouraged. Just mix something new. Mix you up a new color match. It's kind of sitting up there in the sky, guys. If you're watching, somebody actually owns that painting. I sold this original. And I did actually paint this on video. I just don't have the video. I painted it live on Reddit one night and it's just me sitting down saying I want to use these colors that is pretty much how every painting I do starts what colors do I want to play with tonight it's not oh I see this this episode of this painting show or whatever and I want to paint it it's, it's just not the way I work it's usually starting with a color or an idea I've kind of or when I say developed somewhat thought of in my head maybe something inspired me maybe something didn't maybe it's just me being crazy I missed this out a little bit we won't even see that far down on the mountain I don't know why I put that there you really don't have to miss much when you do this just kind of brush over even make sure you still go with those same angles there's a little mountain in the sky. Now we're going to do a big mountain in the sky. And we'll use straight brown for this. And I want to leave a pocket of glow in here. So I'm going to start, and hopefully this is not center. I'm trying not to make it center of the canvas. Got a lot of paint on here. It's going to kind of... Make a line where I want that to go. I'm not really trying to make it perfect yet. It's kind of little juts and things, but again, I want to be able to see a little bit of that glow behind that one. Like that. There we go. And beef this one up a little bit there. Oh, there's a little jut on it there. And it's got some little things over here, maybe. Doesn't have to be the exact same thing. And you could go super bright with these colors. Don't be as, don't be scared to just kind of go crazy with them. And when I say bright, I actually mean dark for this painting. All right. Okay. I want another one right there. We might cover up a good bit of it, but we'll do it anyway. Run that on out. There we go. Yeah, it kind of changes it being landscape orientation versus portrait, but... Kind of gets that idea of the whole painting I did before. All right, so got our mountain on there. So I'm, well, let's kind of pull that thing down here. Not too much paint on there. Even this one today, I don't. I may have to put a little glow back in here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I kind of want this one to have that nice yellow glow under it too 
whatever we decide to do here. Just kind of keep that in mind as we're working. See, I'm losing my yellow. But we can put it back, right? We know how to do these things. You know how to do these things. And I bet you'll do them better than me, even. So. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah. Never worry too much about that. Yep. Never too worried. Add some. Well, I'm thinking about it. I think I even did this when I painted it, painted it before. I'll throw a little bit back in here. And that's that CAD. Cadmium, um, what is it? That's what I'm using. Cad Yellow Hue by Winton. There we go. Oh, I like that kind of. Set that back in there. Yeah. Probably could overdo that. And I'm probably fixing to. So be careful. I never blended out my water. I'm gonna do that now. There we go. A little bit up into the sky. Or up into the mountain, maybe. Who knows what we're doing. A lot of times I don't. So you guys have to pay attention, keep me on track. All right. We wanna start here. Pulling off a little bit of that. Paint's too thin, but I'm going to use it. Yeah, that won't even come off the knife. Right. Heck, yuck. Let me thicken this paint up a little bit. There we go. That still should be fine. Oh yeah, there we go. Wherever we think we want to show a highlight, we can show it. Come down that mountain. Let's put a little more. Let's put some more colors in here. Let's get crazy. Pot is neat. Ooh, but I like that better. I like that color better. Go back over that. So on these, just kind of a little bit here, maybe. I don't know what we're going to do there. Uh, and definitely over here, maybe. Some little juts and things there. Protrusions on the mountain, maybe. Something like that. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of combine these for the most part. Put too much. I have some cat orange out for later. For something i put too much cat orange in it let's put a little yellow back in there maybe we'll get it back there we go looking a little potted meaty if you don't know what potted meat is you can either count yourself lucky or deprived so somebody needs that stuff now but i've ate my share when i was a kid I think the big debate in our household used to be, was it uh, Spam or treat meat? I always like treat meat better. It's just me. Even though Spam is name brand, right? I don't know if treat meat's name brand or what, what it is. Really. I don't know what it is. Literally. So, not much help. Stuff you probably shouldn't eat. And the stuff I don't eat now. 
I have been pretty much a vegetarian for the last 10 years. I'll eat fish occasionally. <clears throat> I'm just putting a very faint highlight, or sorry, shadow color in here tonight. I'm not, like, making it super dark. The brown's already pretty dark. I just want some texture back in there. I might throw another little color back in there. I'm pretty much, it's, it's a dark brown almost. You'll be able to see it a little more when I put a picture of this somewhere. I'm doing all this in preparation for the next step. Yeah. I like that really dark, really dark look. I don't necessarily want to push those back too much. A lot of times we kind of push that one behind everything. There's a reason I'm doing that. And the reason is, mix up another color here. I want a little ridge here. Ah, oh, that paint's thin. It's hard to find paint that I'm actually happy with. A little ridge. We'll just kind of come back and touch it up. So we'll just kind of put it on here. Just want that sharp edge on there. Kind of comes down like that, straight down. All right, now what I want to do before I move too far along, I'm going to throw a little more yellow on that mountain. The sky is pretty much yellow. I need to pick up more yellow than the potted meat. <laughs> we don't want this potted meat mountain there. There we go. A little bit over here. And, and save that glow. That glow is going to be really important here in a minute. Really super important. Pretty much I just take this all the way over. And pull some of it down. Not going to see all of that here at the end anyway. Good. Raise this up a little bit. Angle of it. There we go. Yeah, that looks a little better. That's too straight. I want this to kind of... There we go. Gonna come in there like that. There we go. It can be kind of thick. Just like that. That looks a little better. All right. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd probably put some black out. Yeah, let's get let's get a little black out. A little ivory black is what I'm gonna use. <clears throat> Excuse me. It needs to be a little bit darker, I think. That that shadow back there. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'll put a little white and a little brown into it. Pretty much black. just don't want pure black. I stuck my finger in black. 
Not got a finger pain as far as I know. If I'm careful. Adding a little bit of that in there will actually look pretty good. Give it a little bit more texture. When I get back into my snow that's supposed to be clean, I'll just kind of clean that up. Like I did right there, I'll just clean it up here in just a second. Not a big deal. I just wanted a little bit more texture. And those colors on top of the brown. I hope it kind of stand out a little bit more. Yeah. Now clean your knife. Go back to our highlight color and yeah, we kind of went over it there. It doesn't really matter. We'll kind of clean that up a little bit. There we go. I think that's probably good enough. We have that in there. No big deal. I want a little bit more there. I could. All right. I'll tell you what, I'd like to do with this little ridge. Is you kind of come down here and this little ridge just kind of sweeping like this. See that? I don't know if you see that or not. Let's put a little bit more so we definitely see it. And the same thing here. We just don't want to lose all our yellow. Put a little bit of that mountain kind of coming on down here would be nice. For the painting overall. Probably best not to go over your paint like I do as many times as I do. Especially if you're just starting out. this angle I'm creating with this ridge instead of it just kind of being there it's actually looking better that's what I wanted I don't know if you'll agree or not but me I just kind of create these little crevasses maybe I don't know there that's I don't want to say perfect that's what I that's, what, that's the way I want it to look though but my paintings are far from perfect. Is there a perfect painting? Probably not. You know what some folks would say, if you ever figure you've mastered or you've perfected things, you're probably done. You need to just stop. Or you've got a big ego you need to check there. Check yourself there at the door. Let's 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 uh smooth this out a little bit. Oh, I want brown though. No. Get rid of my yellow. Let's use the yellow one. Let's use a clean one. Shoot. Use this brush here. It's clean. I really missed out that side of there. You won't see much of that mountain here in a minute. In a minute we'll kind of cover it anyway. It's no big deal. Get rid of that. A little chunk there trying to get rid of. Here's where it's important to watch those angles. You start taking that this way it's gonna look odd don't be scared to kind of get in here and be rough with the bottom don't go up here and be rough but really tap it out kind of lightly but again if you get a little rough with it sometimes it looks a little better in my opinion still see enough of that again I could tap something like that looking like kind of continues we just don't see much detail there we go yep yeah, that's what i wanted a little bit better a little bit better there we go now we got all this yellow still showing we're running out of space so that's no big deal because we only have a little foothill back here tonight and i can use that brush there Okay, we're recording.
about to fall off this chair. Squeaky chair is trying to kick me out. I'm gonna take this brown, this straight brown. You can throw something else in there if you want. Oh, shoot. Got a little orange out here. I'll just throw a little orange in there. Load that brush up. Now we need a foothill. We gotta cut this thing off here. You don't wanna lose that glow. Back there, or the misty area. You don't wanna lose that. If you lose that, you're gonna be sad. Nothing's not meant to make you sad. There we go. We'll keep that really good and dark. We're not even gonna put a highlight on here. And in the original, I had little strike down trees. I'm just gonna do the the foothills tonight and focus on the foreground. But you're like, where are you gonna put that foreground? Kind of filling this in pretty dark. Pretty dark, using up all my brown paint. I bet nobody's ever looked at a painting and said, boy, that painting needs more brown. Well, I guess I did. I need my paint painting to be duller. Just a little for you, wherever you want. That will work. And we can use our, our orange brush here. So lightly. Kind of pull a little bit of that down. There we go. Now, see how much space we still have? Somebody's always worried about running out of space. Just cut your land off. Get it, get it back. Painting is so forgiving. Especially with this oil paint and this wet canvas. We can do what we want to on here pretty much. Move it around. Shake it down for lunch money, you know, things like that. Alright, I'm going to take a little white, just dirty white. And put us a nice water line back here. Run out that way. I'm not even going to highlight this foreground or this this foothill. I'll get it right here in a minute. If we wanted to do something, we could pop them up a little bit, maybe. Ooh, don't pop them too much. I almost popped that one too much. Hopefully the mic's working because I know this I'm getting softer. My tendency is to kind of be soft. Uh, speaker until I get loud. And if I get loud, you probably don't want to be around me. Something's going wrong. And if I'm teaching. If I'm teaching, I get pretty loud. Got to, so people can hear you. Oh, however much of that you want. Just kind of little trees in the distance. One thing you can do here to make this look a little nicer even. Take a little black and throw it in your brown. You can always, not a highlight, but you could bring, bring one out a little darker. Something like that. I don't know that we needed to do that. I didn't do that in the other one. Of course, I had other trees in here and stuff, but... That looks good. Uh, it gives you another layer. Another plane maybe on that foothill. And I really want a thick water line in here. Like I said, this is just dirty white. I always confuse people when I say that in class. Don't worry if you get a little bit of color in your white. It will not kill you. Remember, you're not going to find anything in nature that's pure white. I don't think, or very rarely, <laughs> would anything be completely white. All right, got all that in. Yeah, we're going to sock this in here. Yeah, we 
close it up. Any more paint out. So pretty much two colors. I, I did throw a little black out. So we have, I would use, if I was starting again, I didn't have any Indian yellow back here. That's what I would use to start with. I would use Indian yellow. Um, it's a really nice color. I wouldn't start with the cad yellow like I did. Hopefully nobody's painting along with me. I doubt it. If you're painting and you're like, oh, I used cad yellow. That's what you said. And here I am talking bad about it. Let's sock some color in here. And we can shake this land differently. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Got to stand up and look. It looks very pale on the video, but it's not. I don't know why. I guess yellow doesn't show up as well, or yellow and the brown. They don't sound like exciting colors, but they do look nice usually. I may have to tinker with that sky at the end. Uh, backwards paint. But we can paint some trees now. And we'll figure out what to go, where to go from there. I got a foreground to kind of bring it all back together. I want to just take my brush and kind of get some of that white out. Again, I haven't used any thinner yet. You don't need to if you've got plenty. I'm fortunate. I've got plenty of brushes. If you've only got one brush of each kind, you're probably going to clean brushes. So if you can, even if you have to buy cheap brushes, buy you more brushes. It's better than cleaning your brush all the time and paint thinner. Not good for you. Well, most people get away with using it, yes. I don't want to be the one person. I don't want you guys to be the one person. Or the, the several people. That just are willy-nilly. And then 10 years down the road, you're like, Oh, now I have cancer. It's not worth it. Not worth it. I'm going to paint some evergreen right in there. I know I harp on the paint there all the time. It's safety first. I think getting some darker trees and stuff in here will help. Kind of start. The painting looks a little naked. A little barren here. How that color we're gonna start using? We're gonna start using a little orange here. Don't have to. Here's a cheater thing you can do if you ever get a tree on it right on the edge of a canvas, just paint. I mean, literally, just sock it in there, sock some color, and then paint the one side of the tree. There's no point in spending time trying to be delicate on that one side of the tree. You're not gonna see it. So, so why do it? Yeah, that's helping a little bit. bit bigger though. Gonna bring it on out a little bit here. We'll lose some of our foothill back there. That's okay. I don't know where it lands. It's a tree. It kind of has free will there. There we go. Big old tree. Okay, we don't want to lose our little peak, so we're going to sneaky, be sneaky here and put one right here, right next to that one, but we're going to keep it very slim. This will be your slimline Christmas tree for next year. I don't know, is it just... People always worried about their weight or are people obsessed with slim trees. Always one of the biggest, fattest Christmas tree you could find. I do like slim trees, but out in nature. 
I don't know that I want that for my Christmas tree all the time. There we go. It's going to kind of mush together down here. But we'll bring it out with a highlight. And then we're going to sneak a little one. It's in here somewhere. Somewhere right here. It can go into the mountain just a little bit, maybe. Ooh. I don't have my favorite fan brush back here. This one's a little odd. You find you have favorite brushes? I don't know what I do. Don't kill all our water either. See a little water behind your tree, that's nice. Okay, yeah. Filling up this canvas now. And once we get some highlights on here, it'll all start coming together, I think. And I'm gonna need, I think I'll just sneak a little bit of black in here with the brown for the next thing. Kind of laying things out. Laying the foreground down here. Use black and brown. Good bit of black, good bit of brown, probably half and half. And I can do this with the knife, but I always prefer just to do it with the filbert if I've got one around. And I do, I'm lucky. <sighs> so you gotta be careful here. I'm gonna do what I want, and sorry, my hand's gonna be in the way. And just kind of darken that up. Okay, and every tree needs a little buddy. Doesn't really matter where they land. If you don't like it, you take it all the way off the canvas. You can hide it with foliage, bushes, whatever. Those trees, I need a little more dark on them. Those trees are gonna be birch trees. I've already decided that. Kind of do this quickly. It's going to darken them up. They're not dark enough. Oh, look at that. Can we get rid of that? Probably not. Well, let's follow that rule. If a tree has to be thick enough to hold up the bottom. You see those mistakes I made, right? Don't do that. Now you're thinking, can he save it? Probably not. Knowing me, probably not. I'll put my hand here in front. And I'm really putting this on here thick. Very thick paint. The one on thick. Just kind of sliding that knife down it. I just need to darken it up a little bit. It wasn't dark enough. Putting it on with the brush. I mean, you could. I mean, you could paint it. We know. Well, I don't even actually. Our light source is there. Our highlight's probably gonna be on that side. Put it either. It won't matter. Nobody will notice. Give it a little bit more of a top there. In it. Stretch that out a little bit. There. There we go. Okay, so got that done. And we're going to clean that knife. Let's just go ahead and do those birch trees next. Some white and some yellow. Some orange, maybe. I don't know. And if we think the light's over here, that's where we'll put it. Really doesn't matter. Actually, I may just do both sides kind of. Birch trees are tough, in my opinion. This way, painting a birch tree. They never look quite right. Sometimes I'll get them where I like them, sometimes it's just a struggle. It's kind of. 
like that. And I'm breaking a rule here because I want to. I'm going to put highlights on both sides. I decided to do that. My world, right? My hand's going to be in the way, sorry. I didn't think about this. Do I like those enough to show you guys this painting? Yucky. I think if I stand up, I'd help. There we go. Put some branches and things around it. Probably look fun. Not my best trees ever. Well, guys, I don't know. We've got a side that's a little brighter. We can always take a little extra white. Just kind of throw a little bit on there if we wanted to. So we'll kind of leave those. We'll probably throw some branches and some foliage on there for sure. Uh oh. Skirt is not back here. Well, let's work on these. And I am going to break my own rule because I only have one fan brush back here. I'm going to actually clean a brush. Clean, clean, clean. Don't beat the devil out of it. Just kind of wipe the devil. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a little bit of liquid white probably, even though the brush is probably, probably thin enough with the paint thinner in there. And we're going to do orange highlights now. Pretty orange. It's a little bit of orange in here. Alright. The orange goes with the yellow and the brown really nicely. But we don't, what we don't want to do, and we don't ever want to do this, just kill all the dark, right? You guys know that if you're watching. If you're still watching, you probably know that. We'll put just a little bit back here on this one. The reason being, I'm going to let this one be the big one. It'll be the one we see. So it's going to, those highlights are going to kind of spill over. And cover that tree and you always want to do that so that your trees don't look like they're right next to each other and growing into each other just like humans trees need a little space too sometimes not all the time there yeah I'm starting to like it a little better now I'm gonna go grab us a script liner brush I'll have one back here all right got us a script liner brush here we need to do something with these nasty looking trees. I know that to be the case. So you're going to need some thin paint. And a nice grip on a brush. Hoping mine is not going to be finicky. It is going to be finicky. I didn't. I think I talked about this in another video. I didn't. 
do as I say, not as I do here. I don't know if I can show you guys this. I have neglected the last couple of times to clean this well and then put some um, conditioner back in the brush. You can use mineral oil or whatever. If you don't do that, you run into problems with the brush kind of You'll have all these points kind of coming out of the brush. So I'm going to use this one instead. A little smaller one, but it will work. Load up some black and brown, kind of the base of this tree here. And we know that the tree needs some branches. That's working nice. That's a good script on it. In that little place where I kind of went crazy right in here. See that dark? We'll just put foliage there, so no big deal. Can always hide little mistakes with something else. You know, if we put like a big dot of black right in the middle of the sky, well, I might have to have a UFO or something. I don't know. Spend all this time on these branches and I'm going to cover up 90% of them. So for video's sake, I probably will not try to put as many as I normally would. Oh. Microphone fell. And they don't have to be as detailed either, I don't think. If you're going to cover them up, why spend so much time worried about that? You know, each branch having 82 little points. If you want a couple to show, that's great. Paint it the way you want to, guys. Kind of goes back to those, you're talking about virtual glasses. Just paint paint. I was lucky to have a really good teacher around here in person, right, when I first started, but, and I kind of get upset about this sometimes, even though I had a great teacher, one of the best, probably the best. I worked my butt off, too. I didn't just take a class and then go home and sit and they look at that painting. I actually came home and painted it again. And I didn't write down the steps. I just painted it and tried to replicate the colors. And then I might paint it again if I didn't like that. So, this paint. Painting is more important than taking classes. If you've got a great instructor, take classes. If you don't have anybody around, just paint. Do both. You know, whatever. Don't get tied up on worrying about so much. Whew, got a lot of branches on there. Run my mouth. What if we had one right there? That way. Okay. Now we can grab a handy dandy. You could use a, a one inch if you wanted to. A handy dandy foliage brush here. A little round brush. And we might need some more color out. I do. I'm going through the brown. You don't hear that very often. Going through the brown paint really hot and heavy here tonight. Okay. So we want some. Now, one thing to be careful of here, we don't want to interfere with that light ray there. We just kind of want to put a little bit up here. That brown's so thin, I may have to, even though it's, I'm going to have another layer on top, I'm going to put just a little bit of paint thinner just to get it to stick right. And we don't need too much dark. Tendency to think that you have to put all this dark up here for these lights. If you ever look at a tree, sometimes trees will be one color in the fall. Or they may be several lighter colors like orange, red, and yellow, but there's not black. Don't ever use black. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of using brown just to kind of stay with the color palette here. 
Just sock something on here. Like that. There we go. I think that'll look fine. There. Okay. You may figure out what's coming next. I'm going to stick with the oranges here in the foreground. So I'm going to get a good bit of orange out. Again, it's just one of my favorite colors. Cat orange. You can mix it up yourself if you've got yellow and red paint. You don't have to buy it. That would be better just to mix it yourself anyway. You'll learn about mixing colors. Alright, now I've got to thin this down with something. I don't know that I want to use liquid white. I'm probably going to use a little bit of paint there. I want this bright. And I want it to stick. If it doesn't stick, and you'll know if it's not sticking. If you look at your brush and all of a sudden it's dark, you need a little bit of something else in that paint. And that CAD, that CAD tube that I have out there is quite thick, so I had to put quite a bit of paint thinner. You know, like two hairs hit the paint thinner in my bucket. That way I don't pull too much of that brown back off. Yeah, there we go. See how that nice foliage is looking? If you look at your brush though and it ever gets too dirty, you know what to do. You've heard it here first. Or probably somewhere else first, and I'm just repeating it. <laughs> get you some paint thinner, get you some liquid white, some kind of clear medium, linseed oil, whatever, and thin that paint down a little bit more. It's okay if it mixes a little bit. If you get a little bit of brown, you don't want to like have a perfectly clean color. And sometimes if it gets a little too messy on you, grab you a little bit of liquid white. I'm trying just to use the paint thinner method here. Brush got a lot of paint. Lock it right in there. There. There we go. Covered up a lot of those ugly trees. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a fan of doing those birch trees. Texture is nice too. When you see those little textured pieces of Foliage or whatever you want to call it. Tell you one thing I think is going to make this painting look a little better for me is if I take a little more brown. Like I said, it's going to be the first time you ever heard somebody say more brown in a painting. And really darken this up down here a little bit more. Just a little too light. Just sock it in there, however you can get the more brown paint in here. I mean, shoot, let's just get crazy and we'll just kind of paint it in here and then we'll put some texture back. But it needs that. It needs that brown. That dark. Look at that. Kind of pushing up on the brush here. Kind of put those into the tall grasses here. Oh my. Get crazy. There we go. I've heard of people putting it on there with a shoe. Don't do that. Shoes are for wearing, not for painting. All right. I'm going to look at the other one. Again, it's not going to be a perfect representation of anything. But, we'll get close. Close enough for folks to kind of do it if they wanted to. Want 
some orange down here. I might actually brighten that up. There we go. Not being super careful here. Figuring that's going to kind of come through here. I can kind of push up, kind of push the brush into the canvas. Be willy nilly or try to be Willie Nelson. One or the other. Well, they say the bad jokes are free, so don't be complaining. Want some texture in here tonight. One of the best ways to put grass in is to do it exactly like that. Do it a little better than I did it, but take that brush and just kind of sock it in here. Leave you a little space. Sock a little more. Kind of push up on that brush, and we'll kind of highlight this a little bit better too. There. Yeah. Hey, you get some texture. You can always shoot. I always use a fan brush even. See that? Ooh, that got bright. Kind of pushing up on that fan brush. I like that even better. I'm liking that even better. scared you can try things if it doesn't work out you know the worst thing I can do is just throw this pain away the best thing I can do is people say yeah I like that I'll give you 1200 bucks for it if that ever happens I'm gonna have to see those people see if they they need to maybe have a talk with a you know counselor or psychologist someday yeah we can put some bushes in here. Or we can take our our liner brush that's kind of wonky. Let's use the other one. Get some grass out of here. Wherever. We don't like it, we cover it up. Crazy. The little sticks coming out of our trees. I need a little stick tree or two, don't we? Something there. Yeah, I'm slow. You know, I painted the original faster than I painted this one. I think I didn't talk as much. If I talk, it slows me down. <laughs> Good thing about teaching, if you teach somebody to paint in person, you can usually go a little slower anyway. Usually somebody's taking a class, they're not going to be a speed painter either. Not always. Sometimes. Little things like that in there. Um, let's see if I make sure I'm recording. Yep. What else do we want in here? I think a few little yellow bushes down here to kind of tie all that in would be good. So we'll take our brush that has the dark on it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe there's one right there. I don't know. Maybe there's one right there. Who knows? 
maybe right there. You can see I'm real careful putting that dark in there. And we probably need to clean our brush. Unfortunately. If I had a one inch here, I'd use it. It wasn't filthy. I gotta clean one of these, so I might as well clean the one I like to use. Try not to get paint thinner all over me. There we go. Yeah, let's use this yellow. Oh, we use both. We use both. All right. Tie it in a little bit there. Brighten this painting up a little bit. Throw some stuff in there. Put some color. Leave it. Grab some more. You know, if you're liking that look. I kind of do. Maybe grab some orange here. Put it on the old round half round here yeah I don't know maybe there's maybe there's a little more texture right in there see that hopefully it shows up maybe there's a bush that doesn't even have any connection to anything oh my nose is running running away from me maybe Maybe a little bit more texture over here. Don't, even though it looks like I'm hitting it random, I'm not. I'm kind of looking, seeing where I want to put this extra color I have. Put a little bit of orange and some cad yellow there to kind of turn a ochre color. Put a little bit there. I don't know, maybe there's a little hints of it over here. Kind of have to decide what you guys see when you paint. And what you want. The worst thing you can do, and I'll tell you right now, the worst thing you can do is copy. You see one of my paintings, you want to do it, change the colors. You're welcome to copy. You're welcome to do whatever. Put a tree in a different location though, maybe. Call it yours. You know, we all see things differently. We all see the world a little differently. I'll tell you one thing I could do there to look a little better. I got a little crazy. As you can probably tell. Oh, some of my dark down in here. I want some more dark in that corner. Let's tap a little dark back in there. Nothing has ever been done here. Now, we, can you get muddy? Like I said, I think I said that earlier. You can keep doing this, but it will get muddier. And muddier and muddier. You're having fun, it doesn't matter. It can be complete mud if you want it to. Maybe just a touch of color there. Touch of color there. Touch right there. All right. Could do this. I mean, we can have sticks in here and scratching through some stuff here. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want. All right. Scoot the chair back and look at it in a minute. All right. I think it's okay. I might tinker with just a couple little things here. Almost need 
a little more dark up here. Don't ask me why, I just think I do. I'm just kind of put that into that cloud there. Yeah, just a little more dark up there. I'm going to blend that stuff out. Had to take a break a second. The dog needed out. Grab my microphone here. I think we're about done. Again, it's a little different. Actually, quite a bit different than the other. It's got that little light ray there hidden on the mountain. That's cool. Uh, let's see. I want to do a couple of things and I'm going to be done. Let's grab this. I don't want to see those brush marks. I want that dark in there, though. It needed a little more dark up in the sky. There we go. Kind of went loose, though. Loose and free, loose and not really messing with it too much. There we go. Just bring a little bit of that out. There we go. There's a couple other spots I could put a little bit more dark. Kind of right in here. Get a lot of paint. You gotta be careful there. Can get kind of nasty on you. There we go. I really like that dark up there. Also, got to make sure I incorporate that tree. I don't want to. I don't want it to look like. I worked that cloud around that tree. I want it there, just like that. Let's use my finger. You could use this little brush. But your fingers a little bit smaller than that. they make tiny little uh, mop brushes. They're really they're kind of cute, but they're also really useful when you're not wanting to get in a place and really take a chance of messing something up. Another little area that I'm not liking, I'll tell you right now, is this mountain. Looking, it's too white. So I'm gonna take this this little soft blender brush and I'm going to try something that's kind of scary. I'm going to try to insert a little bit of brown into those kind of separation areas that I can see. Not really working. Not a big deal. It's just it just bothers me. Something like that. There. That's, and just barely touch it. Barely touch it. Barely work it in there. Because I know if I touch those foothills again, which it looks like I did, the super easy thing to do is this. I go in here and just kind of... Actually, that works better than the, the one inch. If it goes up a little more. A little softer. Kind of angling there some places, but that's fun. Anything else I want? Anything else? A couple of the little stick trees, and then we'll sign this thing and be done. You know me, I like my long videos. I like hanging out with y'all. I would do lives, and actually, I when I paint live, I'm, a, I'm completely focused on the chat and and the painting so it's kind of split and I don't worry so much about the painting sometimes they look better but the problem with that is my internet seems to not give as good a quality uh, as I would like as just filming it and then putting it up on the internet and if I'm going to put stuff up there I want it to look good I mean the quality of it, that's I mean that's why I've been working on getting a new microphone I want sound to be better i'm going to try to get better lighting not be so worried about being 
super professional here, but a little bit worried. Uh, just because I want to be better. Couple of sticks there, we can throw our little grass back out if we want to. Some blades of grass here and there. Whatever we want, we can do. The only thing I'm not super happy with are those trees. They're not dark enough. We should have painted them with a knife. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? But I think that's good. I think we can live with that tonight. Again, it's not an exact replication, but that's pretty much the steps that I did. Um, and the steps that you could do to make something like this. Okay, pick, take a little more time on that mountain, maybe. I'm not super thrilled with it. But here's the thing. For me. I know that if I want to, I can paint a heck of a mountain. So when one doesn't turn out great anymore, I just kind of let it go. Because I know if I want to sit down and really put my painting hat on, it's going to be fine. It's not like I've lost the ability to paint a mountain. I got to work on that brush. A different one. Hope I have not messed up my good brush. I've also been trying to hide my signature a little bit. Barely want to see it. I don't like that. You guys probably can't even see that. All right, there we go. Let's get a straight, straight on view of it. There it is. Not bad. I think I like the original better. I got more yellow in the middle. Got more dark or something. I've got three little birds up here in the sky. I guess I could paint. Let's go back here. All right, let's get our brush here that works. And let's go to stand, so hopefully I don't get in your own way. I'll just use brown. They're just indications of birds. They're not really birds. Where do we want them? Let's put... Eh, somewhere right here. Tiny little bird. That's going to be a... Uh, that, that must be some kind of pterodactyl. Or some uh, high, high altitude bird. That one's way up there, right? We can put another one. Kind of. Right there, just a they're tiny little specks in the sky. Probably way bigger than they should be. There you go. Maybe that's um, again, Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's that's the eagles there. I think one of them's called Dawn. This is Dawn, this is... That's Dawn, that one's Glenn, I don't know who that one is. But, we'll call that good enough. Alright guys, I'll see you in a few days, I got another video. I'm going to finally try to do that um, acrylic underpainting one. I'll see you guys in a few days, take care, and everybody stay well please. See you guys later.